This is the story of an 18-year-old horse who was diagnosed with equine recurrent uveitis. Moon blindness in 2009 when the symptoms were not very evident. A cyclosporin implant had been suggested but the owner refused. The diagnosis is first stage uveitis and the picture is compatible with ERU. At the beginning of 2011, the pathology had evolved in panophthalmitis, that is a pathology that strikes the whole eye with glaucoma and corneal ulcer. The horse was in such pain that he couldn't bear a drops daylight and was unable to work. Moreover, it didn't respond to intraconjunctival corticosteroid injections and other therapies. A nucleation was suggested, but the owner decided to try stem cells first. On January 5, 2011, I saw the horse for the first time after two years of continuous relapses and progressive deterioration. 18 January, the first injection. The horse kept his high shot and with fluorescent stain showed a corneal ulcer. The eye pressure was visibly increased. Five stem cell cycles were given in 30 to 50 day intervals, two of which were autologous and the other three were allogenic, administered intravenously local perfusion and eye drops. The ulcer, glaucoma and pain regressed. 10 February 20 days after the first injection, they also disappeared and the pain lessened. Allogenic stem cells were injected. 24 February, the whole eye has improved and above all the pain has diminished. Fifty days after the first injection, there was a relapse, so we gave allogenic stem cells intravenously, local perfusion and in drops immediately. 3 May, about 30 days later, the hose has improved, but we still prepare autologous stem cells. With this cure, we were able to save all that had not been anatomically destroyed in the eye and a year later there has been no relapse. 6 July 2011, we repeat the allogenic stem cells for the last time on a fit horse. In May 2012, the horse has no pain and works regularly without a daylight protection mask. With autologous and allogenic stem cells, we regulate the eye's privileged immune system behind the blue ocular barrier and we improved the general condition of a 21-year-old horse that now appears to be much younger. Allogenic stem cells, that is from another horse, were used three times without any side effects over time. An exclusive characteristic of this kind of auto stem cells is that they are not recognized as hostile to the host organism. This means that these stem cells can be produced as a drug by any pharmaceutical company 
and used on non-provoked pathologies following our safe therapeutic protocol developed over the years on animals near to humans. The cells produced using this patented system could make a lot of money for whoever decides to develop this therapeutic protocol. In fact, within 10 years no hospital will be without allogenic stem cells at their disposition as a life saver for heart attacks, strokes or and other illnesses. I cannot understand how a therapy of such enormous economic value that aims to alleviate human suffering has still not been understood and rapidly developed. I realize that my ideas are futuristic and my language is not easily understood by all, but the scientific results, publicly, publications, witnesses and videos should make this therapy possible when the stakes are so high. I cannot understand how a therapy of such enormous economic value that aims to alleviate human suffering has still not been understood and rapidly developed. I realize that my ideas are futuristic and my language is not easily understood by all, but the scientific results, publica publications, witnesses and videos should make you give this therapy a chance as the stakes are so high. I invite everyone to visit the Tankston site www.tankston.it and read the introductory article of the theory that led me to reach these results in my therapy. It is an idea that belongs to the European cultural background and by itself should change the economy of more than one state, if not the whole community, by easing human suffering and creating thousands of new jobs.